Hello my friends, welcome to another video and today I'm talking about Lalique Purom, another fragrance from the house of Lalique and this is um, the original Purom if, if you want, the lion head, because there is also Lalique Purom EQ, uh, which is the stallion head, the newer uh, variant of Purom. So this is a uh, very interesting fragrance if you ask me, this is not a fragrance for um, younger audience this is uh, more of a uh, mature type of scent and um, i think it's uh, best suited for a man about 40 years old or even older why not it's that type of fragrance like um, the old uh, macho fragrances that uh, azaro used to make I don't know, uh, Van Cleef and Arpel, uh, Ted Lapidus and whatnot. So it has some very interesting uh, notes inside, a very interesting and uh, complex composition. And um, one thing that I actually like about the House of Lalique, they include natural notes. So nothing synthetic about this one either. And I do have about eight fragrances from the House of Lalique and uh, every single one of them smells natural to my nose and on my skin. So, because uh, I mentioned the notes, what do we get with uh, Lalique Purom, lion head? Well, we get uh, bergamot, rosemary, mandarin, lavender, patchouli, oris, oak moss, cedar, amber and vanilla. These are the notes taken from uh, Lalique uh, Com, but on other sites you may also see included jasmine and grapefruit so uh, keep this in mind in terms of presentation we get a very nice bottle with uh, the lion head embossed on the back very poor cap if you ask me this is made out of plastic sorry about that and uh, it doesn't feel very secure on the bottle actually I highly discourage you to try this out because you may end up breaking the bottle this is Eau de Parfum concentration and in terms of performance it does last a lot on my skin at least the first time that I worn this fragrance I got roughly 10 hours the second time I got even more than 10 hours uh, currently I'm uh, somewhere between uh, 10 and 14 hours depending on uh, weather conditions and uh, whatnot um, when I wear this fragrance. What do I get with this fragrance on my skin in terms of the scent? So I get a very very um, punchy opening if you know what I mean a very green type of uh, feeling, just like, uh, I don't know, Tsar from uh, Van Cleef and Arpel, that kind of uh, greenish uh, type of opening. But this time around, I get something um, inside the opening, uh, something that's, uh, that's bitter. And that's why I really think that this one uh, actually has grapefruit inside. Because I get the bergamot, I get a big punch of uh, the cinnamon and also I get the grapefruit note with its uh, bitterness. So um, very punchy, it may turn you off if you are not uh, accustomed with this type of fragrances. This is uh, a macho type of fragrance. Not necessarily in terms of performance and projection and uh, compliments, but uh, the way that this fragrance is uh, made and the way that um, it smells from the beginning to the end will certainly give you the impression that this is a macho type of fragrance. As I said, um, green in the opening, uh, somewhat citrusy and also at the same time uh, you're gonna feel that bitterness that um, I actually consider that it comes from the grapefruit note. After the, the opening uh, starts to, to vanish, um, and that will happen uh, somewhere around uh, the one hour mark, 
you're gonna start filling all the other ingredients. So you're gonna get a big dose of lavender, which is one of my preferred notes in fragrances. You'll also get uh, the orris, and also you're gonna get um, again rosemary. Rosemary, uh, you're gonna feel it in the opening, but you're gonna feel it a lot in um, in the heart, combined with uh, the lavender and with the orris. It somewhat uh, becomes uh, less greener than uh, it was in the opening and um, somewhat warmer in the heart. And afterwards, you're gonna get, of course, all the woody notes. So you get uh, amber, which I actually get a lot in this fragrance. You will uh, get also oak moss and uh, the cedar um, note. Vanilla is also specified in this fragrance as a note, but to be honest with you, I don't really get any vanilla out of Purom uh, from Lalique. It might be something specific to my skin. I do have a lot of uh, fragrances in my collection that have the vanilla note. But in this one, I, uh, I really, I honestly don't feel vanilla at all. I get all the woody notes, I get a lot of oak mass, I get a lot of cedar, and also I get a big punch of uh, amber, but I don't get vanilla. And that's strange for me. I don't know. It's the first time that I have a fragrance that uh, has the vanilla note listed, and I actually don't feel it on my skin. And that's why I consider this to be very strange. So as I said, it opens very green, green and uh, bitter in the opening. Then it becomes warm and uh, spicy in the heart and uh, somewhat, if you want, floral, if you can uh, call it like this due to the lavender and uh, the orris root. But then it becomes a very nice um, woody um, scent. In terms of uh, performance, as I said, very good performance, very good projection. I would say that um, it's not the highest projection that I've seen on a fragrance. It's not a loudy uh, projection, but it's uh, above moderate projection. So it's somewhere between moderate and high. Very good. It will leave a uh, scent trail, especially if you abuse it when you spray it on your skin. I highly recommend you to, to apply only three or four sprays on your skin, um, because af if not, uh, it will become um, a bit too much, even for you. It attracts compliments, not as much as uh, you would hope for, but still it does attract compliments, and especially from older gentleman. Uh, why is that? Mainly because this is, as I said in the beginning of this video, um, a type of, that type of fragrance, uh, macho fragrance that it was in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s and whatnot. Uh, basically this one came on the market in the 90s, in 96 if I am uh, not wrong. And uh, perhaps they um, it refreshes their memories. Also, uh, it's not a very easy to wear type of fragrance. You need to be very careful with uh, the outfit when you wear this fragrance, uh, Lalique Pour Homme. And um, again, it's not your usual cup of tea due to the bitterness that this fragrance has. And again, I think that that one comes from the grapefruit note. So, uh, my honest opinion is uh, give it a try if you have the opportunity, if you will find it in, uh, I don't know, any fragrance shop. Uh, give it a try. If you like it, then go ahead and uh, purchase it. But, uh, as I said, I consider this fragrance to be for a more mature audience than um, everyone else. So, this is Lalique Purome. Very nice fragrance, very good performance. I actually like it, I actually wear it, and I also consider this to be a very good cold weather scent. So, um, my advice is, if you want to buy it, if you like how it smells, 
um, you need to know that this is more of a uh, fall winter type of scent even spring but uh, when it's still cold uh, not and I'm repeating this this is not for warmer days see you in the next video as always my friends be safe be good